Are you gonna say lights, camera, action? Hi, I'm Charlie Stelberti, and I'm here to interview you, Assemblyman Goldfeder. Thank you so much for being in Albany and coming to visit my office. You're welcome. Thank you for inviting me. What exactly does a New York State Assemblyman do? A New York State Assemblyman's job is to help people. Uh, my job is to help people on every level, whether I'm here in Albany or I'm back in the community. My job is to, to figure out what some of the problems are in the community, what people are struggling with, especially as you know after Sandy there were so many problems and, and our community was so devastated. My job is to make sure that every family has the resources and, and the tools they need to, 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 to continue to rebuild their lives, to, to make sure that their community is strong and to make sure they're living uh, a great quality of life. Do you enjoy your job? I absolutely love my job because every single day I get to help people and every single day it's different. So, for example, yesterday I was all over Rockaway and Howard Beach going to different events and today I'm here in Albany being interviewed by uh, a young up-and-comer from the community. So, it's a great job. I get to meet all kinds of really, really exciting people and I get to do good things. Is there anything you don't like about your job? That's a great, great question. I think that uh, it's, a very, it's a very challenging job because we're faced every single day with so many problems and sometimes you can find the answers and we can get things done and sometimes it's just very very difficult and the most challenging and difficult thing for me and, and honestly what, what is frustrating when I have to go home at night and there may have been a family who I couldn't help or we couldn't get all the services and that is very painful. Uh, it's painful because you know people are in need and when people are in need you want to help them in any way you can. Sometimes even I have problems and I you know hit roadblocks and, and, and we've got to keep moving forward but it's very very frustrating and sometimes very very stressful but we keep moving forward and uh, we do the best we can to, to help as many people as possible. What can I do as a kid to make Rockaway Beach a better place? So Charlie you're already doing it okay and when I say that, I mean is that, you know, for every child, and I say this at graduations, and sadly, most kids don't listen to me when I say it, but the answer is just to get involved. And sometimes that's a big thing, and sometimes it's a little thing. What I mean by that is sometimes just showing up at a rally, whether it's to, to a rally for more sand on the beach or a rally to bring back the ferry. Your voice, your presence enhances the entire event because when we see that youth are involved, it really just it, it sends a message that, that, that this is a very, very important issue. Do you have any advice for young people like me who want to be elected officials? The advice is to get involved and don't be afraid. You know, so many people are afraid of what they're going to do and, and how they're going to do it. Just get involved. It'll get, you'll figure it out and things will happen to you. Because what happens is that when you work hard, people take notice. And Charlie, when you took that opportunity to go to the mayor, we all took notice. And we all realized how talented you are and how special you are. And uh, I'm going to do my, my part to continue to encourage people to get involved. So if I have one piece of, invol uh, in, if I have one piece of advice and the message I'm going to give to every graduating class I speak to over the next few weeks is to get involved. Because the only way to make a difference is to be a part of the process. Thank you. Maybe we should give you a second to think. <laughs> Charlie, you're too good to me. Someday we all hope you will run for mayor. How soon do you think this will happen? Well, Mayor Goldfeder has a pretty nice ring to it. Plus, I don't know if you noticed last week, I look pretty good behind that podium. So yeah. 2017 may be a little too soon, but you never know, maybe soon enough.